All right, it's Pierre for Kicks, and we're gonna be. What we're gonna do is, we have, we've hatched the first three um, eggs that we're gonna hatch, and those are all the ones that are gonna hatch for this cycle. So what we're gonna do at this stage is we're going to pretty much dry out the soil and put it back into the jar. Then after that, we're gonna put the jar in our dresser drawer for about 10 days. And then we're going to go ahead and try the cycle again. Hopefully next time we'll get more than three. Uh, but good news on this one, I'll give you a little update. I did see a free swimmer in the 10 gallon today. I ran to get my camera and came back and he disappeared. So hopefully um, I saw two of them at one time on the bottom. Then later on that day I saw one swimming through the middle of uh, the tank. So he was looking good and swimming strong. And I ran to grab my camera and he was gone. Looked for him for 20 minutes and I could not find him. So I think he went into the to the Java Moss or something. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this video and pack up this uh, stuff. As you can see, I got two Rubbermaid containers and I have a very, very thin netted um, fish net. I wish I had something better, but this is all I have. This is the thinnest net that I have. And I have two of these, so I'm going to go ahead and use it out and then I'll just clean it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, what we're going to do is I need to make sure that I get all the soil in here. I need to make sure that there's no eggs in here. So what I'm going to do is I got a lot of it right in here. Put that right there. Then I'm just going to check this. I'm going to look over this Rubbermaid just to make sure I don't have any eggs floating in here. Or left in here. Might be the one that hatched. So it doesn't look like I have any in there. And what I'm going to do with this. Is I'm going to go ahead and squeeze. The soil dry. Now don't worry about the killifish eggs as I hear that they are very 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 strong so everything should be okay okay now we got a little clump there and I'm gonna grab the container that it came in the first time and I'm gonna make sure that I get everything so I'm gonna grab oh there's an egg that egg right to it if you push that push the net down if you see an egg on the net just stick it down in the soil and it'll stick to the soil mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna check over this make sure that there's no eggs And we look good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 
cap back on. I'm actually going to wrap it in this soil and I'm going to take this container and put this in my dresser drawer and then we'll come back in 10 days and we're going to go ahead and try this process again and see if we have many um, eggs we can get to hatch the next time. So that's it on uh, packaging back up your killifish eggs. Pure for kicks. I'm out. Found one of them. Get it, yeah, yeah, eat up, buddy. See him get that micro worm. <laughs> yeah, that was like a cheetah.